Hey, it's Mike Waters with the Waters Wake Up Call, and we celebrated National Pizza Day by discussing weird toppings. Well, in college on Sunday night, we would have leftover pizza. Anything that was left over in the refrigerator went on top of it. So what would you do? Would you just get a crust, bake a crust, or would you get a frozen pizza, bake that, and then put things on top of it when it was done? How would you do it? I've done both. <laughs> uh, like, for example, you'd have leftover steak and burger and, oh, some hot dogs. And wow. It would be interesting. Was there ever any Anything you put on the pizza where you said, you know, we're never doing that again. Uh, beets. Somebody put beets on it once. Beets? And, but, whoa, like, like B-E-E-T-S. That is exactly right. <laughs> Yikes. Beet pizza. Yeah. I'd beat, I would beat the person who would put beets on a pizza. <laughs> Uh, one thing about the, the pizza would be Canadian bacon and anchovy. No. I'm a Norwegian. I don't eat those things anyway. Well, I'm a Norwegian too, you betcha, Dinder. Hey, don't you know? Well, you're sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you like the Lutefisk oh, pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be good. Put a Lutefisk on it and sprinkle it with butter. Have a lot of butter on the top of it so it just oh. kind of runs off the edge. Heck yeah, Dinder, oh, don't you know? Yeah, 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 oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just this normal kind of thing. My family came from Norway, and it was cold like this there, and then they come here. And it's cold here, oh, too, isn't it? You betcha. Well, I'll tell you what. Cover yourself with some hot anchovies. Ooh. Maybe one Ooh. gigantic strip of Canadian bacon. Put that in the oven, and then take it out and use it as a blanket. Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> hey, hi, Mike. I want to share with you my favorite thing to put on a pizza. Excellent. Arugula on a pesto base with fresh Parmesan on the top. That sounds very Italian. And you should go to the Lincoln Wine Bar in Mount Verna for the very best ever. And Jesse and his amazing team will take really good care of you. Do you work there? No. Okay, I'm then, a regular. <laughs> okay, then, then I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Oh, well, yeah, of course. I'm the owner of it. Yeah, yeah. okay, then. All right. Bye-bye. But Bye. no, if you're, if you're a customer and you recommend it that highly, and what is it? Lincoln Wine Bar? Yep. Okay. In Mount Vernon. In Mount Vernon. I'm going to have to try that. So what's what's the name of that pizza you were talking about? Uh, it's it's uh, called the Greens Pizza. And say those toppings one more time. It's all greens. It's arugula, uh, and uh, it's on a pesto base, and it has fresh parmesan on the top. All right. Well, that sounds good. I, I think that sounds really good, actually. <laughs> it is. Yeah. All right. Lincoln Wine Bar. Here I come. All right. Sounds good, Mike. Sauerkraut and Canadian bacon. Ah. How dare you? How dare you say something like that to me just as I pick up the phone? I'm sorry, but you wanted pizza. I know, but I didn't want that pizza. That's not the pizza I ordered. <laughs> That's a good pizza. And where is your favorite place to get this sauerkraut and Canadian bacon pizza? Sorry, there's only one place you can get it, and that's Happy Joe's. I love Happy Joe's. <laughs> when I was living in Fargo, they've got a couple of locations, so birthday parties and all kinds. of I love that pizza at Happy Joe's. Well, that's better when you go to the home office. Oh, is it? Is, is the home office here? It's in Davenport. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. So so Happy Joe's was born in Davenport. I was born in Davenport. I got I got to go there and have that pizza from, from the uh -huh. home office. I, I had no okay. idea. I've learned something today. Yeah, you're talking to a Quad City. Well, you know, you're talking about pizza and that you don't like sauerkraut. Nope. So I just had to bring it up and tell you that a good old-fashioned bratwurst and sauerkraut pizza would be the, is a meal in itself. You know, I've got a little German in me, but not that much German. <laughs> the waters wake up cold. Weekday mornings, 530 to 10. 105.7 KOKZ.